and did measure the bridge of charge in the problem. <coughs> Any questions on that so far? The flood is evaporating by more than all the Correct. So then in case that we do see a problem pattern on the record, I use three ounces of recovery fridge and back, or I use three ounces of new refrigerant. And they're like, well, how do they know whether I did a compressor job today? They don't know if you did a compressor job today, but what happens or what's supposed to happen is when you go to the supply house and you buy that tank of Freo, they're supposed to report it to the EPA that you bought it. Because they're supposed to check that you're EPA certified. And then they report to the EPA, oh, uh, TMM bought, hmm. bought a, a 30 pound tank of Freon. Well, let me go check his uh, records to see if he's recovering. Have all my guys recover? I hope so. It's hot. <laughs> it makes a point of reminder. It's at 3 o'clock. What time is it? It's 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. yeah, 34 minutes to pass this up and you drive over to the customer house. I'm an hour late. Okay, okay guys. So uh, we've determined that we have the minimum official compressor, right? So what we're gonna do is remove the compressor. We're gonna make space for ourselves. Okay, let's take these out. Anytime you like one that you like to torture, you always wanna make sure you're not pointing them toward like the unit or toward anybody. Yeah. Point them away right toward, you know. Slide. I'm up. My brother's right there, you know, I ain't gonna... Slide the tanks out there. Yeah, because it's in the way of the... Slide the tanks, there you go. that liquid you'll see that solder begin to liquefy watch you want to get your, your um Man, it's like no time to come up. Wow. and this 
this one, same thing. You want to hit this side. You don't want to hit this side. This is our, our, our you know, copper tube. You want to warm up here. So look, we get a call from the customer. I got a, I got a refrigerator not cooling properly. Our job is to kind of know what, what we about to embark on. What what are we about to get into, Miss Franklin? Evan, what's up? We got a call to a customer saying I got a side, I got a refrigerator not cooling. Our job is to to get the most information we can prior to arrival. Right. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna ask some pertinent pertinent questions. What kind of refrigerator? Because we we may not work on certain brands, uh, uh higher or uh, Beko. Some brands, certain people are familiar with and don't work on high end. Mila, whatever. Viking. So, oh, what kind of fridge you got? Oh, I got a, I'm not sure. Uh, well, can you find out? Uh, well, at that point, proceed with caution. But if you feel comfortable, go ahead. If they tell you it's a Samsung, you want to ask certain questions like, what type of, what type of is it? Is it a side-by-side, -side, a French store bottom out? And the reason I ask that is because just knowing that, I know how the fridge is designed. If it's a side-by-side, -side, I know I may have to look for a damper issue. It may have a damper in it, you know? So if, if they complain about one side not cooling and the other, I, oh, okay. You know, I'm gathering information. What's the symptoms? Oh, it's not cooling properly. Can you, can you give me any information? Oh, it's blinking some lights. Oh, can you tell me what those lights are? Oh, you know, I'm not really sure. Okay, a suggestion is if you have the app called WhatsApp, you can tell them like, look, here's my number, your, my, my company number, send me over a recording of what's going on. They're going to send you that 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 setup, that song and dance there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you got to do this on the fly. I'm just giving you some more alternatives. So you get you get the information from the customer. Now you're going to do your prep work. What's your prep work? You want to go over to appliancology.org and what we're going to do is we're going to type in assuming we get the model number because we're going to ask for that. Um, we get to the job. Now we got our schematics, we look like professionals, and we see this going on. Like I, like I insinuated earlier, these things is excellent sources of temperature tracking. So right here, we're gonna put it in. We're gonna try to stick it like on some, in between two, two things of meat or something, you know? Stick it like, it, wedge it in between food or something. You know what I'm saying? And, um, Let's get a reading on the temperature. Again, I don't use Celsius. So it's reading 76, 75. So we already know we got a complete no cool. Can you show the dial where you placed it? Sure. You want to go to Celsius and Fahrenheit, and then you want to put it on the Fahrenheit um, setting. Okay. My bad, big All right, so you also want to check both compartments. Don't just go off one. The reason being is because it's dual evap. 78, 77. All right, so we know we got a complete no cool at this point. You said it's a dual evap. I thought this one had on dual evap. Did it, did, was this a dual No, no, it's only one. one. It's 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 a, forgive me. It's a, forgive me. But, but if it does have a dual, we need to check yeah. both. Okay. And that's I still fine. like to check both. Okay, that's I still fine. like to check okay. both. No All right. Uh, so now. I wanna, now that I know like I got a no cool, I'm gonna investigate more. I gotta figure out what.
What you working on, E? Uh, working on putting this line back on this uh, pressure from the suction valve. What happened here? Uh, just doing a compression replacement on this unit right here. And uh, I'm just working on getting my lines looking like, you know. <laughs> looking nice? Trying to get them looking nice right they now. Look, they looking ugly. <laughs> that's what's up. But, you know. This is work in progress? progress? Yes, wow, sir. Yes, wow. it is. Yes, well, it you is. the right man for the job, man. Hey, this is your on. first time changing one of these? My absolute first time. I got it. What brothers over here doing, man? What y'all brothers first doing? First class, PMM. Thank you, thank you. Getting the compressor out on the Samsung. Uh, we couldn't get the... Y'all took it out already? Can't get the access valve on the high side, so we put it on the low side and we got the compressor out. Right, this is your first time solder? Yeah. You think you got it? Yeah. You feel comfortable though? I'm a little, I'm com more comfortable than I was before. Look at that guy, look at that guy. Was that your first time ever taking one of them off? Yes. My God. Attention everybody. I'm to have everybody's attention. Merry Christmas. About to have everybody's attention for one second. I'd like to really uh, speak for Brother Rick. I'd like to speak for Brother Rick and I and take this time to thank all of y'all for coming. We're not kicking y'all out. But we understand that uh, some guys may leave earlier than others, so let's take this time and, and uh, celebrate and thank you for y'all participation in this. I hope Brother Rick and I have lived up to our word, and I hope that we deliver. And again, we want to make y'all know that this is going to continue. We're going to add to this. We're going to expand on this. But we gave y'all the fundamentals and the building blocks to uh, get some hands on, Everybody here made mistakes, but this is where you make them at. And we're gonna be with you in the field. So we take great pride in this. This is class 01, 01. And uh, we're very honored to uh, present these to you. So I'd like to take this time and uh, please call to the front.